In this video, I'm going to be planning out the month of July in my Erin Condren monthly planner, but we're moving into the new one. So I have my old one here and we're moving into the new one and I'm super excited. Hi, I'm Kristen and I'm on a journey to uncomplicate my life with functional planning and imperfect home management. If you're like me and you need a gentle reminder to just keep it simple, please make sure you're subscribed and I'll be right back. I have my previous planner that I have used for the entire year so far. I've pulled everything out of here that I am not needing anymore because I've moved into this. So like this one, I haven't even planned in here yet and look how chunky it is, it's so chunky. And then this one is not as chunky anymore because I just have a lot of snap-ins in that one. But I have this one here because the last week of June is planned and um, I have to transfer that to like the first week of July in my other planner. So I just wanted to make sure I had that. And um, let me show you what I'm using. So this is my new Erin Condren monthly planner and it's full of stuff as you can see. Um, I need to take out some of these snap-ins that I have for the week um, to just make it easier to plan in here. Oh man, maybe I have too many snap-ins. Oh goodness. Um, I don't know. We'll see. I don't think I need this in there. Um, yeah, there's a lot of snap-ins, but that's okay. The way I use my planner is I leave it open on the table so it doesn't need to like shut nicely. And so, yeah, it's really only an issue whenever I'm planning and there's something in the way, like this ruler. I can just put the ruler here. There. Okay. All right, so I have all of my I have all of my sticky notes that I had transferred from my other planner whenever I moved in. So every month has all the sticky notes that it needs for pre-planning. I have my folder here that has my July stickers in it, and this is I have two sheets from Erin Condren. We have the um, what is this called? Is it the designer monthly sticker book? This was last year's um, what was it called? The edition edition seven. So this one was from last year, edition seven, and then this is the current one from this year, which is edition eight. I much prefer edition seven with the red, and I just think it looks better. I think the red goes with like the teal color they're pulling in. Just, I just think it's like a more cohesive look that really looks like July. And of course, I love these colors. These are my favorite colors. Um, this like tealish color and navy blue are my favorite colors. So obviously I like this, but I just think this one looks better for July. And then I happen to have this little sticker sheet from the Paper Studio. It came in their monthly sticker book. It's a mini sticker book, obviously. And I got that at Hobby Lobby. They're just on transparent paper, like matte transparent. And I just, it matches perfect with the last year's stuff. It's the exact same colors. We've got like the bomb pops and it's perfect for this. So I'm excited to use that. And then I just have a couple of other little stickers here that were in my stash that are navy blue from Erin Condren that I can pull from if I need to. And this was a leftover piece from Planner Kate. So that's what I have there. But I also have my Planner Kate reusable sticker book and I can turn over to the July pages. So I have it um, color coordinated, color coded. It's not color coded. It's just, I have all my stickers in the colors for the months of that. How do I talk? I have all of my stickers in the like color way that Erin Condren uses in their planners because that's how I plan. And that way all of my navy blue stickers are here for July. So I don't have to be flipping through my sticker book all the time looking for just the right sticker when I already have it. So. Let me see what I need to put here. Um, I just need some Formula One stickers that I actually don't have. And so I'm gonna try to transfer these. Let me do it now so that I can move this book out of the way. Um, I didn't reprint this sheet. These are stickers that I made myself on my Cricut and I just, I didn't wanna reprint the whole sheet just for this one week um, and it goes up here. So we have the Austrian Grand Prix and I purchased reusable sticker paper from online labels, so these should be fine. And let me check, because when I put this down, I may not have had the correct Formula One schedule, and I have put it back here for now. So let me just make sure, qualifying is on Friday and the sprint is on Saturday. Okay, that is correct. 
I need to tab that still. Um, that was one thing that I, I noticed in my um, setup videos. I said I was gonna tab my notes pages and or make a table of contents and I didn't actually do it in those videos. Um, so sorry about that if you noticed that. I just completely forgot to do it and um, I will show you probably if I ever get around to doing it, uh, let's be honest. Um, I will, I'll, maybe I'll do it and I'll show you in my flip through or something or just whatever video I film after that, after that I do that while I'm thinking about it. But yes, okay, so that is gonna work out perfectly. Although, you know what I'm just thinking of? I probably did have a second set of these printed. Oh goodness. I forgot, I have a monthly sticker folder. It's like this, but it's just for the things that I use every month. And I think I have a sheet of Formula One stickers in there that probably had Austria since that week straddles two months. I, before, oh, whatever. That's unimportant now. Um, okay, so I need to just start putting stickers down. Let's lay down, the, I don't have anything that's going to like traverse more than one day. That's where I like to use the washi to kind of like connect the days together. Like if we were traveling or something, we were planning on going on a trip this week. And so I would have put the washi there, but that's not happening now. So there's no need to do that. Um, I could do, what else do I have? I like to use like the box here on this sheet. That's like a fancy box. It's not fancy, it's just got foil on it. Um, I'm gonna put that on the 4th of July because it's the 4th of July. I could do that on my birthday as well. Which one? Okay, this says 4th of July on it. So I'll put that on the 4th of July and I'll use this fancy box for my birthday. So let's do those first just because, why not? I have the date night sticker for my birthday because I figured my husband is most likely gonna be in town that day. So, you know, we'll probably go out for my birthday. Although it won't really be a date night because we're gonna, you know, we would bring my son. Um, yeah. Okay, so that is there. I'm gonna put my sticker that says 20 back on, even though it's now it doesn't match. Oh, you know what I can use? I have the blue ones from Planner Kate in here, and I have a 20. So let's put that on there, just cause it's, you know, more festive. There, okay. So I don't need this anymore. And let's just put these back so that when I start planning, I can, put other stickers on top of that. And let's move this over here. That'll be like a bill due sticker. All right. I have here the Etta V design, and so it's the Inspire design, and that is just gonna stay up there at the top. Um, this is all blue and there's no red up here. So we have some yellow that we could pull in if we really wanted to. Like if I, if I really thought it looked weird to have just some yellow up here and none here, I can just pull like a yellow sticker from my August pages and use it. But we, I'm gonna wait and see what it looks like at the end. Um, and let's do all of the sidebar stuff and um, yeah, so the Walmart Plus, I already have that. Let me move this to the week it's gonna be on, which is week 29. So we've got 26, 27, 28, and this, uh, I'm stuck. Okay, this will be week 29, so that can go there. And I have my birthday, and my stepdad's birthday is this day, so I need to put another box down for that. I think I'm gonna use these like, these, there's a couple of stars. Those would be cute for birthdays. And then I also have birthday balloons, don't I? Oh, here's some birthday balloons. Let's use those, cause they match. Okay, so I'm gonna take these two and I will do should I put them on a label? I like to use the labels here. 
because I don't really get to use labels all that much in my weekly planning. I'm gonna do these and I'm just gonna write our names on there. I want like a more bold point. Why, why do I not have the pen I want? All of these pens are the fine point. Oh, here we go, okay. This says it's a number 10, but the refill in here is actually a number seven. I just didn't have any number 10 refills or number 10 barrels, so that's, it's a Franken pen. Um, and then, there we go. So, hello, why aren't you coming off of here, sticker? Okay, so my stepdad's birthday is that day. And my birthday, which I already put a fancy box down, but we're just gonna put this fancy label right on top of it. And while we're here, let's take this 4th of July circle sticker and put that here. Hmm, I don't know, I think I wanna put it down here, like this. No, I'm gonna put it up here. <laughs> All right. And there's an event this night that I didn't write in my planner yet, but while I'm remembering it, I am going to put some stuff there. It's the night, the neighborhood is gonna do fireworks that night. And so I will use like the, this one here, this little firework. And let's do this other label. Use the darker one. Fireworks. at dusk, all right. You might not be able to see that because it's on a dark sticker and I wrote it with black pen, but you, you get it. Um, all right, so I have, the trip is on there. Oh, my son is doing coding camp from the 10th through the 13th, so I will need some washi. And this one's gonna fit all the way across, but this one will also fit this plus a label. So, let's do that. And I'm gonna use this one that's like, no, I'm gonna save the beachy looking one in case we actually do go to the beach. So let's use this here and we'll go all the way across. And where's that other label? Maybe I don't need to start there. And yeah, let's do it this way. And then I'll put this here like this. And what, did I write what time that is? Eight to one. Coding camp, 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. Okay, cool. And um, I used this other note here. It says that I had EC points expiring, but I already took care of that. And then I just have a note that the 31st is on the August calendar if I needed to schedule anything for the 31st. When I redated this to Monday start, um, I didn't want to deal with the little half thing down here so yeah it's not a big deal so the 31st is here but i don't have anything for the 31st so it shouldn't be an issue and now this i am done with and i can get rid of and we can start doing all the sticky notes so i need to just i want to refresh my memory here i didn't even use these for the fourth of july um let's yeah let's just do the deco last and let me keep these where i can see them 
And let's start doing the sticky notes. So I have a bank transfer I need to do on that day and I don't know which ones I want to use. Um, I have these bill dues. I don't really have one that says bank transfer, but I have the little dollar bills that I think are super cute. And I have these bill due stickers. And I also had these bill due stickers, which I need more than two. So I don't think these are gonna be useful to me, but they're there anyway, so I don't forget. Instead of starting here and just going, I think I'm gonna do the ones that I know I have like appointments for because I kind of have like these, these label stickers from Planner Kate that I can just kind of put there and get them out of the way. And then we have book club on the sixth and a lash appointment on the same day. So let's do book club here at the bottom because that's in the evening. And that is at 7.30. Lashes I don't actually have scheduled yet, but I will put this up here anyway. And when I schedule it, I'll write the time in. And then the same for the 27th. I will do the same thing. And then I need to move my sticky notes over. So In August, the next book club will be August the 3rd, and then the next lash appointment after the 27th is skip two, and so there's one here, and then the next one, skip two, will be week 36 here. So those are there. Now, um, haircuts. My son will need to get a haircut this day, so let's put the little haircut icon. I got these from Planner Kate. They're so cute. And then I don't have to like write out haircut. I can just put this little icon there to know that that's typically when we should probably go get a haircut. <laughs> so it'll be skip two weeks, so week 31. Oh, we already have one, so skip two weeks and week 34. Here we go. And... The next thing is um, gaming night. That is part of my goals is to schedule myself a monthly night or a monthly gaming night where I just take like kind of stay up late and play Minecraft. And that's usually, I always put it on like the first Friday of the month and then sometimes it moves around, but that's just kind of like my tentative schedule. And checking lunch money um, because school starts August 9th, which is coming up fast already, even though we just started summer. But um, always the last Friday of the month, I check and make sure there's enough money in his lunch account for school for the following month so I don't have to do it all the time. And um, I have little dollar bills here for that I could use. Sometimes I use a bill, sti bill due sticker for that. Even though it's not technically a bill, it's just, you know, it's financial stuff. So um, let's see about how many bill due stickers am I gonna need? I need one, two, I could use bill due stickers for all of these and just use up these ones that are in here. And I'm not gonna do one for this. Okay, I'm gonna use the bill due stickers for Adobe Lunch Money and Disney Plus. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna get my, my fine point pen Oh no, I need one for Walmart. My Walmart Plus subscription, it's an annual payment. Okay. Walmart Plus, and that is $98. It's actually got some tax on it, but I don't know exactly what that is yet. And then Adobe and where did I put that cheat sheet? That's in the back now, right? I think I need to make a real page for it and not... Adobe is $59.53. 
59.53. And then, um, what was the other one? Lunch money. I don't know how much that is going to be. That's something I need to go check and see how many school days there are. He's also stopped wanting as much of the school lunch, so I might not even need to put money in there. I know we had a bunch left over at the end of last year. So Disney Plus is always on the 8th, and let's put these at the bottom. So I'm gonna move this over to the 8th, and then Adobe is always on the 12th. 19th? Why did I think the 12th? Oh goodness, that's why I have a cheat sheet. Adobe's on the 12th. Why does it say on the 19th? Oh, I think I moved it whenever I was doing that. Okay, so this is on the 12th. Let's move that. And um, lunch money is gonna be on the 28th. And we will move that to the last Friday of the month. And uh, the Walmart Plus one is on the 21st, which there's a lot of money stuff happening on the 21st. So I need to do a savings transfer and a payday sticker. So let's get those. Um, I have these three payday stickers. So I need to do one on the first, cause that's a payday, that's why I need to do that. And I've got one on the 21st. And then I've got one on the 20th. There's so many stickers. And then this, maybe I should have done this one here because it'll actually fit up here, okay. I'm trying to use these up, really. I got the dollar bill ones to use for payday, but I'm just using up the ones that I have first, so I'll get around to the dollar bill ones another time. And let's put that one here. And that one will go there. Um, I still need to leave date night. And then let's move all of these. Okay, payday here, and that will be the only time and then we'll just put this one here. I have another payday sticker. Now I have three paydays. And so, I think I put them on the back of this thing. Yeah, so I'm gonna get this third payday one out and put it on the next month that there's a payday. And then that way I'll have the one for this day, this day, and this day next month. And then my savings, I usually do that on that last payday of the month. It's just a savings transfer. Um, and then I think I have, I have a sticker for that that is like a neutral one. But I think I also have like a piggy bank. No, I used all of those. All right, so I'm gonna just do this. And to be honest, I don't actually end up writing in the savings deposit on these. There's a spot where you can write in how much you wanna save and then check it off when you do it. Um, I don't do that, uh, but it's just there for that. It's just there to remind me that I, I wanna do a savings deposit that day. So this day I need to resub and do a Twitch subscription. And I'm gonna use a label to indicate that. Let's just use one of, these were also <laughs> payday stickers. Um, I want to do one that has like a little checkbox, so I guess I'll use one of these. Oh no, here, I will use, I like to keep, when I have stickers that match more than one, I like to keep those together and then use like these kinds of like singles first when I'm using things up. And that one is Twitch. Twitch resub, and I'll just use the little like time slot as like a checkbox. And so next month it will happen on the 9th. So let's put that there. 
And the next thing is my goal check-in, which will be on the 17th this month. I do this a little early because I film that video and that video usually goes live on the last Wednesday of every month for that month. And so I kind of like review my month a little early, but that's just kind of how it has to work if I'm gonna film it to show you. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna use this one that says planning time and just kind of put it up here. And that will, wow, there's a lot of stuff happening on that day. That'll go there. Then we have the date night and then the sidebar and that's it for the monthly spread. And I'm sure, do I have a date night sticker? I didn't buy date night stickers. I think I just figured I would use the hearts. Yeah, let's do that. Let's just put a heart there. And I'll just write on that sticker and just write date night. Mm, maybe I'll use the one that says family time because it's not really gonna be a date. It's mostly just gonna be, you know, me and my husband and my son going out to dinner. <laughs> uh, I know the point was to schedule a date night, but it, just the way our schedule is working this, this month with the when things fall, like he wants to be home for 4th of July, but that's in the middle of the week and my birthday's in the middle of the week. So he's gonna be home like weird times where he might not be home on a weekend for us to do like a date night. So I just don't know yet when we're gonna have a date night, but we'll, we'll make it, we'll make it happen. And um, I'll just put this here cause I don't know yet for next month what tentative day that could be. So now I have my monthly reset where I typically do this column here. This is like how I'm gonna do my to-do list. My monthly to-do list is gonna be in the sidebar here. I used to do it in the dashboard, but I'm doing something different there. Please don't go here. <laughs> um, so this is gonna be my to-do list. And I have this that says to-do, but I don't really like this font. So I'm gonna use the ones that I got from Planner Kate. I like these. And so I'm gonna use those kinds of things here. And I have the one that says, these are the mixed script fonts or something like that. And I have this one that says do all the things. And I'm gonna just put it up here um, and cover up where it says notes. And then I have this box that I typically use for my monthly reset items that are the same every month. And that is um, device wallpapers, like for my phone and my PC and stuff like that. I like to change the wallpaper every month. And my camera roll, which is hasn't really been happening. I try to organize my camera roll and like delete all the pictures that don't matter. Like, you know, when you take like a random picture of something so you don't forget. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I go through all that and like deal with that and then like file anything, screenshots and stuff like that. And printing photos, which is important for the memory planning. Um, so that goes on this list. So camera roll and my command center, which I have just like overhauled and I am so excited. I'm going to have a video to show you that soon. It's not ready yet, but, um, you may have seen some of my stories on Instagram where I showed, I got the Aaron Condren wall organizers and set up like a whole family command center. So I've overhauled that and I'm excited about it. And then my inboxes, which is I have a couple of trays where I just kind of collect papers and things as well as my um, inboxes for Gmail and Instagram DMs and stuff like that. I like to go through and clean those out and delete messages and stuff. And then that way it stays nice and clean. So now the rest of that is open for writing in tasks for the month. And I had said that I wasn't sure if I wanted to pull in some yellow. And then also we have deco. And there's like yellow here on the little lemonade glass. So we're definitely gonna use that because it kind of pulls in that yellow. And so we'll just kind of put it here. 
I don't like to take up space. Like, how do I know I'm not gonna need this space to write, like, list stuff in later? That's like my big issue with putting deco in. And I wanna use more of this red, even though there's no red on here yet. Like, I don't have to use the red. I could save it for next year. Maybe next year's planner, it'll look better without like the yellow. Do I save it? Mm. I think I save it. I think I am going to save it. I don't know. Uh, I don't have to use every sticker. So that's like the other thing. Like just because the sticker exists doesn't mean you have to use it. Like I can just use this next year. What if I don't like the page that comes in the edition nine, you know, then I'll have this one left. So yeah, let's do that. And then um, I think maybe I will do the little fireworks here. I like the fireworks, they're so cute. And it's like that navy blue foil. And I think I'm just gonna kind of put that like up here. I should have done this last in case I wanna use these on the other page. Um, let's do this star. It's July. It's the best month. <laughs> All right, so that's it for the month. Let's go to the dashboard before this video gets any longer. So this is new. Um, where's my old planner? Here. Okay. This is how I was using the dashboards like this, and I didn't even do anything. This, this was like a huge fail. <laughs> um, all of this, I didn't even check anything off. Like I didn't do any of this either. All huge fails. Um, but I have like where I have goal check-in, mom life, and the cleaning projects and stuff for the month. So I'm gonna kind of do something similar, but I'm gonna do it over here, obviously on our new dashboard. So we already have it where it's printed on and it says something, um, but I'm gonna be extra as extra as I can be the way I plan. And I'm actually going to put like my stickers there. Um, this says goal check-in. And if you watched my move-in video, I talked about using this space as a Kanban area. So I set, I'm gonna, I'll link the video there so you can watch it, but where am I, where did I do that? Where did I put that? here, the 12 boxes. So this is all, none of these are current. I haven't even done my goals yet, so we're all out of order. We've just had some timing issues as far as filming goes, so we're all out of order this month, but um, I plan to try to use this as a Kanban system instead of my door. And so um, my idea was that I would move the little goal things to this section and then write in the action steps for each goal. Um, I wish I had that ready now, but I don't. And so I can't really show you, but that's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna put like my sticky note here and then I'm gonna, you know, make like a checklist for the things that I hope to do this month that have to do with that goal. And I can like fit a couple on here, I think. I think that's what, that's what we're doing. Now, these two sections are, um, I have here like that I wanted to use one for projects, which this one already says projects, and I wanted to use one for school, but I've decided to, instead of doing that, I'm gonna have a school on its own page in my monthly, and so I don't need that for school anymore, and let me just stick that to my cover, and let me stick this to my cover, and I'll figure out if I need those later. Um, and I don't think I need this anymore. This was how I used to put, like this in this box so I would remember that's what I wanted to use it for. Um, but now I don't really need that. So that's probably gonna get retired too, but we'll stick it there for now. Um, this one, I'm going to do, um, <laughs> I've lost all, all train of thought. I am going to take my monthly cleaning project and this month is to get my closet and my son's closet organized and purged and assess what new clothes we need before school starts in August for him for sure. And that is gonna go on like my project spot. And important dates, I think that is just gonna be empty. <laughs> I don't know. I usually put the school stuff, like the mom life stuff, 
like first day of school or this thing is happening for school or my son has tennis camp or he's going to coding camp which actually I could put information about coding camp there so I do have that script that says mom life but if you look here it's too small to cover that so this is where the deco is going to come in so we need to use our deco from the Erin Condren sheet or I can use just labels here so I'm thinking I'm just gonna cover these to make it match. And I'm gonna have to use this one. There's no teal on this page. Oh, there's a slight bit, but I don't think it's enough. Okay, we'll just, we'll just use the teal one, who cares? So instead of using white out, I'm just gonna use this washi that came with this sticker book. And I'm gonna go like that and let's just tear it. And I don't know if this one's gonna be long enough now to fit in this other box, but let's see. We could just cover it with some deco if it's not. Oh, it is long enough, nice. I'm gonna have to use my slice tool on this. It's too small to tear. All right, so that is one way you can cover it if you don't like your boxes labeled. Um, I know a lot of people were complaining about that. So now it can be for anything we want it to be. And I like these because they all match. And why did I move this over here? I am going to use the one that says, I have one that says organize my life and I have one that says time to clean. And I will use the organize my life, I think, because this is more of an organizing project than a cleaning project. Do I like that or do I just wanna, I'm gonna try something else because I don't anticipate needing this entire box. So I might just do it this way. I think that looks a little cleaner and less cluttered. I like that it's layered a little bit, but I also feel like this one's crooked. I think next month this will go a lot faster because you know this is my first time using this dashboard this month, like as, long, as well as everybody else since it's all brand new. Tracking. Last month I had trackers here that I never used. I have really good intentions with this. I wanted to do like a line chart with this and I just didn't, I, I didn't track the things. Like I wanted to do my sleep hours and my water intake and my steps. I broke my watch. So I don't have my steps and I don't have my sleep because that would tell me how long I slept. And I just didn't track my water. So I didn't have anything to track to try it with. Um, yeah, I need this, let me keep that out. And then this, I was gonna track my movement cause that's one of my goals as well is to do some kind of movement each weekday. I did it twice and I just didn't. It's just, there's a lot going on and honestly, this is not my favorite thing and so it's like the last thing I make an effort to do. Not the best attitude, but it's that's just life, you know? That's, that's what happened there. I liked this and I don't see it coming into the new planner. <laughs> I just don't. Um, I'm using this page differently and we'll get to that in a minute, but I think I'm retiring this for now. Um, I, I can put here, I think, we will do this same concept here where I do, I can track what kind of movement it was depending on like which way the slash goes. I'll do that there and I don't need to write it in. Okay, so that's movement. Or I could just say walk or yoga. I don't know, I have something for each. I don't know. The other option is I could cover this up and not even use it for tracking, but I didn't bring anything with me. Um, I didn't, I wanted to measure this and kind of like make a sticker that was different, but I didn't. So um, that's not gonna happen this month, but that is that is something, a possibility in the future. Like I could change how I'm doing that. But I think for now, this is just gonna be movement or workouts. 
and that's probably what I'm gonna put a sticker there that says workout. Oh, I could put fitness, let's do that, because it's not technical, I don't think of it as a workout. And that's gonna be, um, let's put it over where it says tracking, and then I think what I'm gonna do, just to use up all the spaces, I will do, because this matches that. I'm gonna do, let's do steps. No, my watch doesn't work. Why am I doing steps? My watch works, it's just that the screen is cracked, like majorly cracked, and so I don't wanna wear it, because it's like really bad. And I don't wanna get a new screen for it because I don't want that watch anymore. I don't wanna invest money into it when I wanna get a new watch. I'm being so dramatic for no reason. I could just keep my phone in my pocket and that can count my steps, right? I don't even like tracking. I don't know why I'm stressing out about this so much. Um, I know, I'm gonna move this. I said I wasn't, I was gonna use that, but let's use it for different things. I'm going to, my son and I have been doing Duolingo and I'm on a streak on that, so I wanna keep um, practicing my Spanish, so let's put that on here. And actually, what I'm gonna do, I don't like how crowded this is gonna be once I start writing big. I'm going to not use this, and let's see if I can cover that. I can cover it with deco. Um, right? I'm gonna try something. So that is too skinny. What do I have that can match this? I could use regular washi. Um, I have that Inspire washi, but I think it's the wrong colors. Here's my washi tape. And now that's not gonna stick back down, is it? And then what washi do I have in the back here? I want something that's gonna go with this Inspire design. I don't have anything back here anymore. I could use this gray one. I could leave it blank. I could white it out. What could I do? I feel like I'm, I should edit this part of the video out, but at the same time, um, I know a lot of people don't like this, this. And so I'm kind of trying to think, maybe I'll just leave this in and show you this is, how I'm covering it up and maybe that will inspire you in some way. I'm not gonna cover it up completely, but it might help you kind of think of an idea of how you can do it in your planner. Um, I have this blue washi from Erin Condren. It's like paper tape washi. And I'm just gonna cover up one of these. The reason I'm covering up one is because I don't have enough things to track here and I, I'm totally fine leaving it blank. Like I don't care if there's blank spots in my planner. The reason I'm covering it is because whenever I write, um, I write kind of big and I don't have enough room under where it says tracking to write something and it not look crowded and stupid. So that is why I'm being super like extra about this right now in case you were wondering. <laughs> but you, I'm thinking what you could do, you could totally put some washi down to cover up where it says tracking and then maybe put like, I don't know, some deco over this or a box of some sort. Like if you have an old, like a leftover from like a Daily Duo kit that has those like boxes or just whatever, a full boxes would be cute, like kind of like layered here, I don't know. I know it's wasting functional space in a planner to just put deco there and that kind of is not ideal, but I don't know. And do I even like that? I don't think it even matches anymore. <laughs> the struggle is real. Um, what else do I have? I could use this from the Wildflowers line. I could use this, but the reason, this one is not all blue, like it's different. Oh, you know what, that'll work. Let's do that, okay. Mm, we're planning in real time here, so sorry if all this fumbling around is like annoying to you. <laughs> but if that's annoying to you, you probably aren't watching my channel anyway because that's kind of like how I 
do things. Like, I'm always just trying things. I think this was from the Focused collection. And it's too, it's not, <laughs> oh goodness. It is too um, sheer. So I am gonna have to put some white out down under it. And this is not ideal either. Like I don't wanna have to do this every month. So um, I don't recommend this. Like this isn't like my solution for this section. This is just what I'm doing this month. And I'm gonna work with it. All right, now let's see. I, now that I have white out down, I really only have like one shot here. Because the white out will stick to the back of the washi. Okay, all right. We're almost done. <laughs> Okay, and I am gonna track some things there. I just didn't need all the spots and I just thought it looked too crowded and that's all. All right, now I can put a sticker here maybe. The things I wanted to track here, for sure I wanna track Spanish. Um, I should track movement because that is one of my goals is to move more than I do. Whether it's yoga or going for a walk or you know, a proper workout or whatever. And the last one I don't know yet and so I am gonna leave that blank. Um, yeah, now I think it looks a little nicer. And uh, do I need to put any kind of like title sticker on that? I don't know. I would like to, but I don't know that I need to. Um, I don't think I even have anything that says tracking. Now I have this like a washi strip that is not gonna stick to anything anymore. I should just throw it away. I can put like a shoe and a yoga mat. Do I have anything that indicates Spanish? That's like, a, I could do a book even though I'm not really studying in a book. Okay, we're gonna leave it like that. I don't need all of this. Okay, and then the other thing that, um, again, not prepared. Sorry, this video is all over the place, but when I was doing my menu plan for July, I made a mistake and I completely didn't think about it, but I put it in my July in this book and I'm not using this book in July. So I have my menu plan in here. That's gonna go on this page. And I am going to try to pull this up, but I don't think it's gonna come up like nicely. And if it doesn't, I'm gonna reprint it. Um, I will reprint it and then put it in here. And this video is gonna be as long as the setup videos, isn't it? Okay. I think if I just kinda of go like this across, I can get it up without having to waste it. Okay, okay, it's working. It's just gonna be fiddly to get down now that like the whole adhesive is exposed. The other option was that I could have just like clipped, like pulled the page out and clipped it in. And then like, or just, you know, washi taped it in. But I thought, let's just try this because I don't know, <laughs> maybe you've stuck a full page sticker down and you have, needed to pull it up and wondered if it was worth risking. So we've got wrinkles now. I'm not being as delicate as I was a minute ago. We've got wrinkles, but maybe I can fix that whenever I smooth it down. 
So let's start up at the top, this month's menu. I'm lining it up with the top of the page, or I'm trying to. It's curling, so it's hard to see. Okay, now let's go slow. And I can use this to help me, I think. I think I've saved it. I think we're not, it doesn't look bad. It does not look bad. It's just out down here at the bottom that looks bad, but I could totally cover that up. Like if it looks terrible. I am happy with that, okay. All right, uh, that's not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. And I didn't have to reprint that whole thing anymore and it happens to match. <laughs> it's not gonna match next month, but that's okay. Um, okay. Nice, I like it, I like it. All right, now we can write in some stuff here that I already know. My little sticky note month goes here. Let's clean up. I wanna keep this deco around so I don't forget to use it. But I also get kind of overwhelmed when there's all this stuff out. All right, tidied up, let's look. So here's where I'm going to write some information for my son's coding camp. And let's go ahead and use the cornflower highlighter from the Erin Condren dual tip dual ink rainbow marker pack. And I have this stencil from Katie K Plans. Well, the stencil is from Christian Designs, but Katie K Plans helped develop it with Christian Designs. And I'm just gonna use that for like this highlighter guide because ever since I started using it, like I can't highlight without it anymore. <laughs> Even though my highlight doesn't always like lay down well, at least it's in a straight line. And I'll use the black side and I'm going to put that. This is coding camp. And that is July 10th through the 13th. I'm not going to put the location because safety and security and privacy and all that. Uh, I already have that saved in an email on my phone. And it is from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. And he needs to pack a lunch for that. And I'll use one of these, I guess. Just as like a reminder sticker. Pack lunch. All right. And then I will also write stuff here pertaining to the school year coming up as I find that information out. And then organize my life, that is here. So this isn't all set up yet either. I have something coming in that I'm gonna put here. It's one of those um, half page annual trackers from Planner Kate. And in July, my project that I wanna work on is my closet and my son's closet. And so let's kind of do the similar thing here with the highlighter and just kind of make like a checklist of what needs to happen with those things. So I'm gonna do like two. I'm gonna divide this into two because there's my closet and there's his closet and dresser. All right, and then here I'm gonna put KK closet and LT closet. And I need to, let's use this and let's just put check boxes. I'll just do all four. I don't even know if I have four things, but that's fine. Four fits. So we are going to purge both 
and um, I also need to do his dresser and my dresser and I'll just fill up these four things. So then also um, donate. And then I'll just use the fourth one and then just say new clothes question mark. Because part of this is we're just gonna assess what new clothes we need and if we need to buy them now or if we can wait. It stays really hot here. Um, like through Halloween. So it's hard to buy new school, school clothes because the stuff for school is always like long sleeves and pants and stuff, but he's not even wearing it because yeah, it's still so hot. <laughs> so uh, new clothes shopping is just kind of weird. Of course we will get new stuff for the school year that he needs like because he has grown and he needs new shoes and all that kind of stuff and stuff that's worn out or stained or whatever. but. It's hard to buy, like, we don't do like the whole full, like brand new wardrobe for school shopping that I feel like a lot of people do. And um, the goal check-in situation, I will maybe just do in my goal video because I just don't know what those things are yet, so I can't fill them in. But like I said, the idea is that I was going to take my little Kanban system and move it into this book. And so in doing so, I would take my sticky notes and put them here, and then I would do something like this with a little checklist for each of the goals that I wanted to focus on for the month. So that is that, and then the rest of the book, I have a page here for anything school related. I don't even know if I'm gonna use it, but I wanted to hold that for that purpose. I also have this spot if there's only a couple of things I need to write down. Um, but school starts the second week of August, so I might end up just putting that there. So I don't want to set up anything there yet in case I don't end up using it for that purpose. And then um, we just have enough pages in here for the rest of the month and then a monthly review. And that is it for this video. I didn't put any deco on. Is it it for this video? Do I add deco? I put some deco there. I like it. I like this. Like I don't feel like I need to put a whole bunch of stuff there. Um, I just, I put this little glass here and I feel like it's silly to not have other, another piece of deco. <laughs> Is it silly? I don't know. Um, okay, I can't really think of anything that I can put here. And I don't think I need to put something there just to put it there. I, I can flip through my plain black scripts. Um, just see if there's anything that could fit on that little tracking section, but I don't really think there is. Nope. I don't know, what about one of these? No, I don't really like it. it does, it's too big for what I'm doing here. Okay, and then this is all just washi. All right, well, then I don't need to put anything there and I can save all of this deco to go with next year's stuff. And I'm okay with that, I'm happy with that. And there, everything for July is put away. The uh, other thing is I had this little to buy um, thing. In my notes section, I have a wish list, wish list page and I wanted to, cause this is like full now, I wanted to see if there's anything on here I still want. And I'm gonna, I'm just gonna write it on my wish list and get rid of this. So for the house, I need like a four foot plant. Um, I want a real one, but I need one for like a certain spot in my house. And I need a Bose speaker cradle. We have like this portable Bluetooth speaker, but I want to have it like permanently set up 
in the house and it needs a, there's a cradle that you put it on like so that it stays charged. It won't stay charged just being plugged in like the normal way you charge it. So um, yeah, I wanna get that, maybe it's on the list. And um, I need new like ear pads for, I have over the ear noise canceling headphones that I wear every day for hours and hours and hours and I need new ones. And I keep putting off buying them. Um, I had found some like off-brand ones on Amazon and then I didn't buy them and now they're not available anymore. So I'm putting it on my wish list so that I can kind of research so that I don't think I need to buy the actual Bose brand ones. Um, and a new patio umbrella and I wanna get some like string lights for it. We always have really good intentions to sit outside um, in our on our patio and then we never do. Um, and so I'm hoping if I can like find like a cute patio umbrella that has lights on it, like, I don't know, it'll just be a vibe and we'll want to hang out out there, who knows. Um, but I think I wrote down everything I want to transfer. Yeah, so this can go in the trash now. This is just my cheat sheet for what I think I want to order whenever I order stickers for my memory plan. So I just kind of stuck that there. It's like my planner Kate cheat sheet. And now I don't need to have that to buy um, sticky note anymore. I do keep extra ones on this page if I needed to use them, they're there. And that is it for this video. It's long enough. I just, it's a new, a new situation here. So we'll see how this works out and if it changes next month. But that is how I planned out the month of July in my Erin Condren monthly planner. If you're still here with me, thank you so much for hanging in there and watching to the end. Um, I will link the products I used in the description. I am an affiliate for both Erin Condren and Planner Kate. So if you use those links to make a purchase, I will earn a commission. And I just thank you so much for that. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you really liked it, please consider subscribing because I post new videos like this four times a week now. And um, I would love to see you in the next one. Okay, until then, embrace your imperfections and just be you. Bye.